Hey guys, we need to talk. And since this is the manosphere and red pill spaces here that I'm occupied in, there's always a fundamental question that we always ask ourselves. I don't care if you're MGTOW, Black Manosphere, SYSBM, whatever you identify with. That question is, should men marry women with children? Now, I know some people really look down on it, but the fact is, as we get older and, you know, we date and want to have relationships with women, um, it is possible that those women already have kids. And a lot of times we look at these particular men who marry women uh, that have children as having no options, as being a part of the American working class, as guys who are isolated to a small community or city and state, as guys who are not ambitious. So they have to accept what they can get. But I want to challenge that thought process because there are men out there who would be considered, you know, maybe uh, financially attractive, hardworking and, you know, driven, um, physically attractive. And yet these men have no problem marrying women with kids. Well, how do we know this? Because Shawnee O'Neill just got married to Pastor Keon Henderson. Now, you know, to talk about this in retrospect, Shaquille O'Neal admitted last month that you know he was the reason for the divorce. So she was vindicated. But despite that, Pastor Keon Henderson is only 41 years old. Now, before Keon Henderson met up with Shawnee O'Neal, he was married to the lovely Felicia Henderson, and they had a beautiful daughter by the name of Caitlin, right? And she was born in 2012. They were married in 2010, and unfortunately, they got divorced in 2019. But what was interesting is that she had two kids from a previous marriage. He had a stepdaughter uh, by the name of Tynesha and Candace. So Tynesha at the time had to be like 15, and her sister was um five and it appears that these kids may have been for two different men for his wife so as a young man you know he decided to get married you know like 30 he got married to a lady that had two kids now let's fast forward Dima uh now he's getting married to Shawnee O'Neill she's 47 years old and Shawnee O'Neill has five kids God damn. Now, albeit Shawnee O'Neal, uh, some of her kids are grown. Uh, she's talented and everything like that. And he's an up and coming preacher. And I don't have anything but love for him. But the question remains, should he be looking at somebody a little bit younger that, uh, you know, has a little less of life experience? You know, I, I want to talk about this because I just uh, don't know. I mean, in, in the reason why I don't know is because well, he wants to be a celebrity pastor. He, he is going down that road. And maybe he feels that Shawnee O'Neal might be the lady uh, for him. You know, she's 47 with five kids and he's, uh, you know, going to be the stepdad to some of those kids. And, you know, I don't really think I feel comfortable doing that. But this kind of reminds me of what we know in black America as black men being the cleanup man. And I think that for many black men out there, uh, and maybe he doesn't see himself as that, but this is what we're used to. We're used to, uh, you know, coming into the situation where a woman, a woman already has kids and maybe kids by different men. Now, if you're a person that's progressive and if you've worked hard, don't you think that maybe that might be somewhat of a risk? especially if she has kids by different men and you think that after going through that this guy may you know think about maybe going a little bit younger but this is why a lot of women have hope there is hope for ladies who can get a man who's okay with them having children i think if you're a guy and you want to go that route you should understand what the disadvantages are to that and i believe there are many but i'm not gonna knock your hustle because you know, people have different goals and people might be comfortable with that. But I think that what we need to talk about is there are not a lot of men who want to do what Keon Henderson did. Most guys are not looking to, number one, become very successful. 
and then two, become the husband of a woman who has five kids by another man. It doesn't matter if those men were her husband or not. Most guys do not want to put up with that. And I believe that when you see stories like this, so many women get out and be like, oh yeah, well, God sent her a man. Why he can't do the same thing for me. And then I also look at the fact that Shiny O'Neill was in a different situation. She was on, you know, a lot of reality shows. She was connected in Hollywood. She was able to even meet a guy like him because of who she was. But I think about the average lady out there in black America. I don't know if this is something that's plausible. Can she, can a woman just, you know, pull up, but just, you know, like I'm like 41, I got four kids and a guy's going to marry me that I think is like very handsome and doing very well. It is possible, possibly not likely. And I think that what you're seeing now is a shift from a lot of African-American men to kind of put their self out on the market. And again, shout out to Dr. Tiasan Johnson. We talked about this about a week ago that a lot of black men didn't even know that they had sexual market value. And I don't even know if Mr. Keon Henderson really understands that. And a lot of guys are saying, well, shit, if I'm going to put myself out on the market, let me see what I can get. Let me see what my skills will allow me to do, what my earning potential will allow me to do. And why not go for the best that I can do instead of just saying like, you know, maybe I can just settle for maybe being some woman's wife who already has kids. Why not go out there and be with a woman that has my own kids? And I think that's Keon's issue. He's always been with a woman that he was a stepdad. And maybe it could have been a different experience for him to start off with a woman that didn't have children. Obviously, I believe he had the opportunity, uh, but we'll see and we'll wait it out, um, especially with a young woman. He might be able to grow into the relationship with and, and grow with. I'm not hating on Shawnee O'Neal at all, but I do know that there are more men that do not want to be the cleanup guy. And it's nothing wrong uh, with women that have children. I'm not saying that, but it's just not optimal as a situation for a lot of progressive guys, just like a man having kids is not pro you know, optimal for progressive black women. So as this goes um, you know, on and on, these are gonna be situations that are not gonna be as common as it was before. 25 years ago, this was always common in black America. You would always see a guy marrying a woman that had kids, even if he didn't have kids. I mean, you would have women that be able to have like two and three marriages to good black men. It was just more common. But now when you hear stories like this, you're like, damn, she got married to him. He married her. Like we would possibly sit here and wonder, like, is something wrong with the guy? But that's just where we're at now. We're at a more uh, we're more in a time where black men are really looking to put themselves first. They're looking at their own situation. They're looking at themselves as a higher commodity than as times in the past. And they don't want to just settle for less, just like black women don't want to settle for less. But I have a question, guys. Would you have done that? Would you have married Shawnee O'Neal if you were Mr. Keon Anderson? I mean, let me know in the comments, guys. Let's try to figure it out. And as you know, the buffoonery remains to all-time high. I'm out.